everyone. I have four new journals that I'm going to be listing, and they're all nature journals. Two of them are little golden books journals. One is called Wonders of Nature, and the other one is Birds. And then I have two soft-sided journals that I've made as well. One is Squirrel, and one is Robin. And I will be going through these two first, um, so that the other ones might wind up being in a second video. So let's go into Robin. This is actually the second time I've done this because my phone rang, and apparently when your phone rings, everything stops. Okay, so this is a soft-sided journal. It's uh, a handful. It has all kinds of, of uh, fluff at the top. This is almost all sorry silk along with some ribbons. Um, it's got a canvas, sewn canvas cover that is tied with a uh, Tim Holt key. It's actually a pretty heavy key and more sorry silk. It's styled after a um, manila envelope journal, but there is no envelope in here. Instead, I've just taken fabric and sewn it in the shape of a manila envelope. Um, I've reinforced the back side with Tyvek, and then this is Tim Holt fabric that I've sewn to the inside. So while the one chunky signature that makes this up is all sewn together, it's only tied to the cover because I think this cover um, will last a really long time and will be reusable. So it does wind up with two pockets. Um, the outer layer of this is cardstock. You can see that it's sewn with a uh, one, two, three, four, five hole pamphlet stitch. And this is the inside. So I've made a flat pen to go with this. It's got a, a paper clip and a ribbon at the top. And it's a little tiny flat pen that slides right into your journal. Inside the front cover is Tim Holtz paper with matching Tim Holtz vellum. So it's the same image that forms a pocket along with a journaling card. So many of the images in this book are Mrs. Coggs or there are a few old design shop. Um, and some book pages from various books, including Edith Holden. So that is the start, and that just clips onto the page. This is a um, journaling pocket. There's some journaling pages on the back here that are sewn on, and it's in the style of Wendy's Journal Adventures, just a little journaling card that slides into this little pocket that's made out of cardstock. Wendy uses the... Um, Oh, life, something about, oh, Project Life. I don't have those, I just cut things to the right sizes. But that's a cute little pocket and it's also uh, attached to some canvas, so there is another one at the back. This is one of my window tags that I have a tutorial for. It's got a magnetic closure, listen, and um, it's got a fussy cut butterfly that it's double printed and double-sided and it is uh, opens to journaling cards and then it just magnetically clings to the page. This is from Hammond's Nature Atlas and here is a journaling card with a quote. There are quotes throughout and that's just attached to the page with a clip, regular paper clip and a mushroom charm. There's ledger paper, there's primary school writing paper, this is another um, paper clip with a charm, and this is a homemade envelope from Edith Holden with a little vintage tea card, and I thought those butterflies looked fairly similar, so I stuck those together. That just slides into that little band. And then inside is a um, Edith Holden journaling card. Lots of writing room. It's fairly well embellished, but I try to also leave lots of blank pages for keeping your notes and thoughts. So there's some large squares. Here's another uh, journaling tag. It's got a dragonfly and it's a little collage and a quote. And so this is just an altered index card. So it has lines for you to write on. This is inked tracing paper that's torn to form the pocket. I thought it really looked very kind of woodsy and mossy. Love that. Book pages on the American Elk. 
Here's a Mrs. Cog's image journaling card. Again, an altered index card with a little moose. This is um, tracing paper with a skeleton leaf on the inside of that tracing paper. This is the inside of the signature. So these, oops, little pieces of thread, sorry, silk thread. Um, the signature is sewn and the ends have leaves on them, but it's also tied into the book. So you can write, just write right across these leaves. The only bump is that main vein, but these other ones are so delicate that you can just write across them. And there is a moose journaling card with a quote. There's a little surprise quote there. Um, this is from an Audubon encyclopedia and it tells you all about trees and twigs and identifying twigs. Another altered index card quote page with a fox charm. Here is a um, decoupaged envelope. Look at the cute bunny. Um, and inside is a uh, Mrs. Cog image of the set. So many of the animals look like they're having conversations. Um, with a journaling quote prompt and some ledger paper. And then that just, how did I have that? Just, what was on this page? Clipped to here. That's a Tracy Fox hip clip with a little pine cone charm. And paper and paper and um, Hammond's Nature Atlas moose and deer. Here is another window tag with journaling paper in it and this also has a magnetic clip. Here's the other side of the, oh this has the word says wonder, uh, another journaling card pocket with another little bit of piece of paper on the back and then this is a little booklet, oh no this was the pullout. Ha, ah, forgot about that. Sorry, I made this one a while ago. This is Wendy's uh, Journal Adventures pullout. And on this one, what I did was I made a little inked vellum booklet. These are Mrs. Cog's images. I adore them. Um, with a little journaling card in the back here. That's uh, Edith Holden. And a journaling card in the pocket here. And then there are two pockets in between here with journaling cards. These are just straight old-fashioned journaling cards. They've been inked, but there's nothing other than just blank space there. And then so that closes with a magnet and it also opens this way. And I've just sewn some different pieces of paper here and then Tim Colts clipped it to here in case um, whoever winds up with this wants to refill this or reuse this space for something else. Um, the hinges are sorry silk. And that is the end of Robin. American Robin, I suppose I should say. That just wraps, wraps around and slides in. So then the next one is Social Squirrel. And I think this is my absolute favorite image of the pack. <laughs> I just think he's so funny because he's talking to the butterfly. The construction is the same. Tim Holtz key, uh, canvas, tied on with sari silk, uh, Tim Holtz fabric, Tim Holtz uh, paper. I did wind up reinforcing the ends of this one because I cinched it down and I was worried about the edge there on this one. Here is your flat pen and your journaling card. This is the social squirrel again. Now he's talking to mice and a uh, journaling card. This one has a little charm of a squirrel on it because this is social squirrel. Um, a, another window tag with journaling paper. Here's some inked tracing paper that I've sewn to the page so you can kind of see the sleepy chipmunk beneath, behind. So that's a sleepy chipmunk from the Hammond's Natural Atlas. This one has a tab with a charm. That's an armadillo. 
And then again, journaling pages. This is from uh, Wild Animals of North America by National Geographic. And a altered paper clip. It's an altered paper clip with a journaling tag that has a belly band with another little journaling tag inside that. And then some more paper and another altered paper clip with altered paper clip with a leaf charm and a journaling tag that has a journaling tag quote. This is a fun one. It says, I have discovered I cannot dream up characters as incredible as the ones I meet in the wilderness by Jean Craighead George, who is an author of young people's adventure stories, including My Side of the Mountain. Love her. Okay, some more paper and another collage journaling card. Another Mrs. Cog image with the, the Congress of Owls. And there's a quote on the back of that one. A little Tim Holtz paper clip with an owl. And some more um, sewn inked tracing paper. But the cool thing about this is when you open this, it looks like a tree. I'm kind of happy with how that came out. Looks very barky to me. And then a little pocket on this side with some uh, vintage tea cards. That just snug right into the tree trunk. And a um, another altered paper clip with a, a homemade envelope that has a journaling card. And on this journaling card is inked tracing paper with an image that's been tucked behind it and uh, stamped words wonder. And that's that. Okay paper to write on the other side of that. This is um, another altered paper clip, but this paper clip is clipped to an envelope that is made of music paper um, that's been Mod Podge, which is very old music paper, but it has a really nice feel to it because it's got Mod Podge all over it. It's called the Flower Song. And inside here is a larger journey link card with the social squirrel. So now he's talking to the bunny with the little squirrel in the back and a quote and some spots to write on. So this one attaches to here with a paper clip and there's a little um, chick and a fox on the charm. Paper. The gray squirrel from the book. That's a prairie dog. Some more inked paper that's sewn to um, copy paper. Another window tag. Inside this window tag is um, just a single sheet. And that clips on like that. The other side of the front tag there. And this one has. It does go in nicely, except when you're on camera. All right, I'll fuss with that later. This one has a moose. And here is the fold-out pocket. It has a tab with an acorn. So it's got a strong magnet there. And inside is a long tag that I'm going to leave in there. And a journaling pad that is sewn to the back of this one. And then this one opens, and there's another journaling tag there with a um, Edith Holden bird. And then this is a clipped on booklet with a tree of life and some birds. And it's got a three stitch pamphlet stitch. Um, and this is mixed media paper for sketching or painting or taking it out into the woods with you to take notes. Um, and I have so many charms in here, I didn't put anything extra on those tags. I'll just tie it in a bow. And that clips on with a Tim Holtz clip right there. And then it all clamps together with a strong magnet. 
So that is Social Squirrel. And they, everything tucks in nicely. And this wraps around. And that key tucks right in there. So let's see, that is 15 minutes. Let's try it, let's go for it. Let's do, oops, there goes my light. Let's try a little golden book. So this one is birds, and this one is wonders of nature. Let's do wonders of nature first. I'll always do birds later. So these are vintage golden books um, that I got at my local antique store. And it's two signatures with a pamphlet stitch, but instead of doing the whole button thing that everybody does, um, I decided to do a uh, tassel. And it's got sari silk and lace and ribbon and charms and beads. And there's a key and a butterfly. And this little charm is a layered charm. Uh, with a little beetle and a button and a piece of um, burlap. And it's on a bulb pin that's attached with a Tim Holtz. I don't know what you call it. Thingy. Um, so I did um, keep the full size of this and I reinforced. There's actually uh, technically a bend right here that the little golden books do, and I just reinforced it with two layers of muslin. A muslin on the outside, a muslin on the inside, and then the Tim Holtz fabric around the edge. It has a hitch post clip with an elastic hair band there. And here we go. Um, so each one has, each signature has a cardstock uh, folder on the outside and that cardstock is a brand new paper pad that I just bought that I really love. It's quite beautiful. This is the pad um, and the cover. Oh dear, I seem to have lost the cover. Uh, I'll try and find it. It's got a really lovely paper pad. If you like botanicals and nature things, it's a good one. It's a nice trying to find, I was trying to branch out and find some other things besides Tim Holtz that I liked. And this is lovely. So this too has um, a flat pen. Uh, there's a pocket here. And in this pocket is a flat pen with a paper clip. And uh, some journaling tags. This has ledger on the back and a quote. And this is a piece of eco dyed fabric that I downloaded as a freebie. Um, and this is a mushroom tag. It's got some burlap and some fringe and a quote and some space to write on. So those all sit in the front pocket there along with the flat pen, flat pen paper clip. So the entirety of the Wonders of Nature Little Golden Book is in here. Um, it's from 1957 and it is in order. And this is a little photo album that I got from, inspired by Izzy B Craft Creations. And of course, I'll link everything on this. And you can put your own photographs in here. Um, but for now, these are just some book page images that I, that I slid in. My idea about this is that this would be a great way to get kids interested in nature and journaling about nature and reading about it. This is a um, music, Mod Podge music page pocket that is also decoupaged and it's got a guest check tag that's been decoupaged and a journaling card. And again, Mrs. Coggs and um, old design shop images. Edith Holden, more writing space. This is from an Audubon encyclopedia about birch trees. And this also had some uh, nature sea theme pages. So this is from a field guide to Pacific shells. And this is from an atlas of the ocean. This is a picture of the coral reefs. 
I left it open. I couldn't decide if it wanted to be a tuck or a pocket. So whoever gets this can decide if you want to stick those down somehow. And the center of the signature has a little tiny pine cone. So pages. This is from that Audubon Encyclopedia of Trees and Edith Holden. I think this page would be great for collaging something on with all those nice handwritten words behind. Here's the other side. This is another decoupage guest check tag. So it has a little bit about the desert. So I chose a cactus page from the Hammond's Nature Atlas and it has a horse chestnut on the back. And here's the back pocket of that first signature and it has two more um, two more journaling cards. One with a Mrs. Cog image and one with the eco dyed printout. Here's the second one. This has a pocket with a journaling tag, and a woodchuck, and a porcupine. One second, honey, please. And pages to write on. Some tropical. This also had some Arctic stuff in it, so I have some Arctic animal images on cardstock. And the center of the signature has an altered um, manila envelope um, and some images and quotes and journaling cards. Uh, plenty of places to take notes. There's a polar bear and a seal. Some fishies. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. Who doesn't love to catch frogs when you're a kid? That's a field mouse and a beaver and another journaling card. It says, one touch of nature makes the whole world kin. That's Shakespeare quote. And then at the back of these little golden books, each one has another its own little sketch booklet. Oh, I forgot to sew that one in. <laughs> well, that will be a pamphlet stitch before it goes out. Sorry about that. And then that is Wonders of Nature. This is birds. Similar construction. It has a big old tassel with charms and lots of interesting um, laces and fibers to play with. I think that, you know, you probably ought to cut these up and use them in the journal. Um, use the charms, use the, the beads and the pretty laces and things. I think that would be fun. Hitch post opening. Um, this is an inked and stamped piece of multimedia paper that I did. Uh, I made a pocket. So this has a flat pen with a paper clip. It has a guest check. It has an altered paper clip with a little dimensional birdie. And then it's hiding a little journaling clip. So this was a little more of a handmade front signature. And this one is birds. I think if you enjoy bird watching and you want to introduce bird watching to a child, this would be fantastic. Um, again, all the pages of the book are in here in order, um, unadulterated, un unchanged. This is from 1958. Here is one of my window tags. This one has a skeleton leaf in it, and it also has a magnetic closure. And of course, you have to have some Edith Holden. Look at those eggs. I love those eggs. And paper. Here's the 
um, photo album for this one. These are book pages, but how fun would it be to get kids to be taking pictures of birds out in the field and bringing them back and putting them in your own little photo album or at your bird feeder even. Keeping lists. These are all great for keeping lists of all the birds you see on your different outings. This is teaches you about the different um, parts of the bird. Oh my gosh, I hope I've been in frame. Um, this is an altered envelope again. This one has a little more, several more pockets. This has a pocket on the front with a quote. And Edith Holden. It has a pocket there with a tag and a quote. It has the main pocket is still open so you can put your own things in there. And the same on this side. Pocket, quote, another one with a tag here. I love those sweet little babies. They're so cute. And then still has openings for you to stick treasures in. More keeping lists or journaling. There is a cardinal, but I like this. Here's the red winged blackbird on this page, and there's the red winged blackbird. And journaling pages. And again, that just looks so inviting to me to do some kind of collage on. And here is a belly band, oops, with a guest check journaling card. And here's a second, second signature. This one has a pocket with a journaling tag. And this one is an American Robin and a house wren. Edith Holden. That's one of my favorite Edith Holden images. Here is an altered paper clip with an envelope. And inside this envelope are three um, vintage bird themed tea cards, a woodpecker, a cedar waxwing, and a morning dove. And this altered paper clip has a cute little chicken charm on it. Because it is a bird after all. And writing pages and swallows and writing pages. And this is a journaling envelope that I have not closed, but I have given you some space to write in. That could be a mini outing, keeping a list of things you see, or a day at your bird feeder. And here is a um, music page envelope with journaling cards. This has a tuck spot for a quote, and then this also has a little hidden pocket with a tea card. I'll have to fix that with some washi tape. It tore a little. And that one has a pocket with a quote and a tea card on the back as well. Almost there. Another window tag with a strong magnet. This is a, just a little pocket tag with some extra quotes in it and some washi tape and a Tim Holtz paper clip and a decoupage yes check. And here is the sketchbook pad to go with this one. And this has been sewn and it has a little bird charm on it and that is just clipped to the back with a clip. So I will fix all those little details that I just discovered and I will list them in my Etsy store. Um, they're not there yet. Um, probably today's Friday. Hopefully by this evening, 
Um, I have to go out shortly and do uh, mom duties. Uh, so I will be listing this probably this evening, all four of these. So thanks for watching, thanks for sticking it out. I'm very close to 100 subscribers, and once I hit that, I really would like to do some kind of little giveaway. Um, and I, so keep your eyes out, invite your friends. Thank you, bye-bye.